Hi guys, it's your girl Kill Chemist, and I am popping on camera to do a quick outfit of the day. <clears throat> Seems like it's been a while since I've done one, so um, I was feeling what I had on today, so I thought I would do a quick video. So let's get started. So on my face, I'm pretty excited about my face. Um, everybody's been raving about these um, like HD powders, the banana and topaz. Um, by Ben Nye and the Banana and I think it's it Rich and Earth by um, Ruby Kisses. So I was able to get my hands on the three Ruby Kisses um, setting powders. And I don't wear foundation, but what I did do um, is I occasionally I will wear a tinted moisturizer. And um, yesterday I actually looked up some BB cream do-it-yourself recipes here on YouTube and I found one so I just mixed a um, I guess it's a foundation that I found actually at the Dollar Tree it's a hip foundation I think the color was teak which was much darker than my skin but I added it with um, a oil-free moisturizer that I have from Neutrogena with a 35 SPF uh, mixed that about equal parts and um, then I added a little bit of face primer that I had from e.l.f., the studio uh, face primer that they have. And I also added um, something else that I use on my skin to the mixture. And I put that all over. And then under my eyes, I set with the banana powder. My lighting is not really showing you anything that would be too impressive, but I do like it. And then I used, I think it was Earth all over the rest of my face and I really like it. Um, the reason why I'm even playing around with it is that I may be getting some pictures taken um, in the next few weeks and I just want to you know play around with doing some makeup. Um, now on my eyes I just have a very soft eye color look. Um, I have a pigment that I won in a contest it's called Tahiti and it's kind of like a peachy orangey color all over my lid and then in my crease I just have a loose pigment that's kind of a turquoisey shade and I just blended that out and so that's kind of what you see playing around on my eyes on my upper lash line I actually used another Ruby Kisses product this is the 24 hour eye define I use that on my lash line this is what the pencil looks like and I also used it on my lower lash line and on my waterline, although you can't really see it that well, I use their 24 hour eye define. Um, <clears throat> this is a gold color that they have. And the other one is like, I think, the blackest black that they have. So on my cheeks, I have my Heather Silk Wet n Wild blush. And right now, I just have gloss on my lips. In my ears, I'm wearing these earrings. I think you may have seen them before. And I'm wearing this turquoise stone ring. My locks are just hanging down. <clears throat> I actually <laughs> got up early this morning and washed my hair. My scalp was itching so bad. So I actually uh, washed my hair. So it's just hanging out. Um, it's dry, but it's, you know, just hanging. And now to the outfit. So this outfit kind of came together randomly um, but I like it. Um, I was going to wear something totally different this morning with this sweater. Hi Amaya. And um, this skirt that I had, uh, it's a suede skirt, it was laying out and I just noticed how well the colors just popped together so put aside whatever else I was going to wear with this sweater and decided to do it with this skirt. But since this sweater is kind of a shorter like sweater, even though the skirt is more high waist, um, I decided to throw this shirt underneath in between as kind of a transitional little pop of color. So I got this sweater. Um, I think I got it on clearance at Sears many moons ago. I got it in several different colors and um, I really like it. It's held up very well. Underneath I am wearing this shirt. I think this is by the Miley Cyrus collection from Walmart. Um, it has that deep V cut in the front and the back. I have several shirts like this with different patterns and colors this is just one of them so it has like orange and rust and turquoise and so it really pulls in the skirt the skirt I got oh gosh probably 10 years ago at a thrift store it's actually suede it's a suede skirt Maya you can verify that it is indeed suede excuse me mommy's doing a video to the carpet um yeah so it is a suede skirt and it has snaps in the back 
or you could leave it as a split. I left it as a split. And I really like this outfit. I think it's colorful, but not too colorful and fun. And then on the bottom, because this skirt comes right above my knee, I'm just wearing these little chocolate colored boots because I'm going to work. They have to be flats, but I think these are really cute. And I actually got these at a thrift store a um, couple years ago, or maybe a year and a half ago when I did the Bronze Goddesses um, Get Dressed for $20 Challenge. Um, I actually bought these. I didn't wear these as part of the challenge, but I got these that day, and I think I paid maybe like seven bucks for them, and they are leather and very comfortable. So, yeah, guys, that's what I am wearing today, and with that, I'll go ahead and show you my coat since it is also a lovely thrift find. This is a coat by Jonathan Michael, and it was $6.99 on the day I bought it but they had 50% off the tag. So I got this coat for like $3.50 and I love it. Love it. Really, really love it. It's in great condition. It's got the big pockets out front. It comes right down above my knee. So it's like a quarter, three quarter length or whatever. And I think it's, I love the color. And with it, I am going to toss on this little um, beanie cap that's in the brown color similar to the coat and I usually just rock mine to the side give it a little funk and then I'm going to add this scarf that has like orange and greens and you know kind of kind of goes with what I have going on today I'm going to rock that out as well and this is my outfit so I hope you guys are having a great Friday. It's the end of the week. We made it. We survived. Um, yeah, I hope you guys um, have some great plans for the weekend. I don't really have any plans, and I'm not complaining. Um, at least I don't have any yet. But, uh, yeah, guys, I hope you guys um, are doing well, and see you soon. Bye.